Hello everyone. This video is for the students who opted for self-study courses of Takshila for the preparation of CAT 2024. Over here, we are going to provide you a detailed day-wise study schedule which will help you to prepare for CAT 2024 in a systematic manner. In this video, we will discuss three things. First of all, guidelines about how to access this self-study schedule. Second is 14 mistakes, 14 commonly made mistakes by the CAT aspirants over the years. And the third thing is a detailed day-wise self-study schedule. This editable and downloadable Excel file which includes this day-wise self-study plan is available in the pinned comments in your telegram group. It is also available in the getting started course. And if some non-Takshila students needs this, then they can ping us on the telegram. The telegram ID is mentioned in the video description. And then we will send you this editable and downloadable Excel file. Now let's start with the guidelines. So here it is first guideline. This is a detailed self-study schedule for the students who opted for self-study courses at Takshila, not live courses. Also, this is a schedule for the students who are planning to start their preparation for CAT 24 on or before 12th Feb 2024. Also, you people need to make sure that the day you start following this schedule, that day should be Monday. This is the first guideline. Second is, you can see that in this schedule, the Saturdays and Sundays are kept free. In the initial months, you can use Saturdays and Sundays for the revision purpose and to complete the remaining task of the week. Also, you can use these days to catch up if you are falling behind. In the later months, you can use Saturdays and Sundays to solve full-length mock test to analyze their results along with the revision. After this, third guideline is this schedule does not include holidays for university exams, festivals or any public holidays. So students need to compensate for these days by studying on Saturdays and Sundays. Then the fourth guideline is this study schedule require a minimum 30 hours of weekly study in the first four or five months and 35 hours of weekly study in the later months. These hours does not include attending live classes or doing any other task mentioned in the schedule. Students need to focus on studying with the full concentration, avoiding distractions like social media, TV, gossiping and overthinking. After that, these study hours should be distributed across the day instead of studying for the long hours in a single sitting. For example, you can plan 2 hours of the study in morning, 3 hours in the evening or 1 hour in the morning, 2 hours in the afternoon, 2 hours in the evening. After this, if you finish your day's task early and still have time to study, you can continue with the next day's task to free up some time for the other task related to friends and family. After this, keep in mind that the syllabus is very huge, huge and huge and completing it without a structured plan is going to be very difficult. The later you start, more study hours you need to put per day and the, you will end up with solving fewer practice questions. So it is very essential not to postpone following this schedule. To complete the syllabus of CAT 2024 in a structured manner, you need to be the manager of your studies. You can use this editable Excel file. You can use different colors to indicate what task is done, what needs to be completed. Also you can add columns whenever you solve exercise or any test, whatever score you are getting, whatever is your re remark mentioned over there, it will help you to analyze your studies. The next guideline is the don't get afraid. Don't get afraid by looking at you need to do multiple lessons, multiple tests, multiple exercise in a day. Most of the lessons they range from 15 minutes to 20 minutes and the most of the tests exercise are having 10 to 12 questions in each. There are few exercises which are having as less as 4 questions also. 
so the workload looks a bit high but it is not an actual after this there are few QA courses which are taught by two faculties that is Chandra and Nishant you need to choose only one of them to follow also before you start your preparation it is mandatory to complete the getting started course this course will guide you how to prepare effectively for CAT 2024 after this while following this schedule if there are any doubts if there are any concerns if there are any questions please don't hesitate to contact us we are always available to assist you after this the next second part of the video is the 14 mistakes made by cat aspirants over the years here are some commonly committed mistakes by cat aspirants have a look at them and try to learn from others mistake because you cannot afford to make every mistake by your own total 14 mistakes are listed down first few of those are not being regular ignoring basic building blocks not revising frequently forgetting to make notes skipping analysis of exercise and test solved referring solutions too quickly and too often running after shortcuts and so on so what you can do is you can pause the video and increase the video quality and read all these mistakes carefully and try to avoid these mistakes after this we'll go to a day wise self study plan now over here you need to make sure that the day you start following this study schedule that day should be a monday if you keep it monday then the saturday sunday will become free if you keep any if you start from any other day then some other days will become free so what you need to do over here is you need to edit this date the i can see the next monday is 22nd of january so i need to enter 22 dash 01 and 2024 so over here the date will get changed and according to that all other dates will also get changed this is how you are supposed to set the date over here so on any day the syllabus the syllabus this schedule is divided into three parts first is qa second is dilr and the third is varc on any day you will be having the task only for the two sections out of these three sections you can see that first few days you will be having the homework for QA and DI. If you scroll down then you can see there is a homework for QA and ELR. Again if you scroll down then there is a homework for QA and VARC. As QA syllabus is a very huge syllabus every day you will be having the homework for QA. There are some courses in QA which are recorded by two faculties one is by Chandra and one is by Nishant you need to follow only one among these two people follow algebra by Chandra or follow algebra by Nishant same is there for the numbers topic as well let me show you so over here the numbers topic is recorded by Chandra sir as well as Nishant sir you need to follow one among these two after this as I told you earlier don't get afraid of solving too many tests in a day too many watching too many exercises on a day over here you can see that there is you need to learn lesson 5 6 7 and 8 in a single day so every lesson is about 20, 15 to 20 minutes some lessons are of 10 minutes some lessons are of 10 to 15 minutes some lessons are of maximum 20 minutes that's it also don't get afraid of solving multiple tests in a day over here for example let me show you for example you can see that for grammar you need to solve all eight tests in a single day over here if you see these eight tests every test is going to have some four to five questions that's it over here again you need to solve three unit test in a single day every unit test is going to have 10 questions over here so on this Friday 26th July you need to solve 30 questions of arithmetic and 8 tests every test approximately 4 to 5 questions 40 questions of grammar and the grammar questions are like a statement fill in the blanks type of questions so 
it you so the task may look a big task but in actual it is not so this is how this study schedule is going to work all the things are mentioned over here which mock you are supposed to solve on which day for example if you scroll down over here you will come to know that now saturday 24th august you need to solve you need to take and analyze the full length cat mock test which is seven number mock test and over here you need to take the end mat as well as so all these things are mentioned in this study schedule when you are supposed to solve mocks and all everything is there so in case of any query you can connect with us we are here to guide you this is all for today